Hey everyone, Nuke back at it again, and today we'll be going over World Soul Memories and the War Within expansion. And the, my video will cover the lowest difficulty ones, where you only need one Radiant Echo to do it. But there is two higher tier difficulties with these World Soul Memories. Um, with the highest one, you need to do also an achievement called a Series of Echoes. So you have to do all of the World Soul Memories all throughout Kazalgar. But to do these World Soul Memories and to find Radiant Echoes, you have to do things such as Bountiful Delves and they drop from these chests right here. And these chests, to open these chests, if you do World Soul Memories, you get these little key shards called Coffer Key Shards. And with when you have 100 of these Coffer Key Shards, you can have a restored Coffer Key, which allows you to open the chest in the Bountiful Delve, which allows you to get the Radiant Echo, which allows you to do the World Soul Memory when it appears all throughout Castlegar. So it's a whole little circle together doing all that. So what I'd recommend to you guys, is you do your Bountiful Delves, get your radiant echoes you do your world soul memories you get your coffer key shards this whole little circle you can maximize all the stuff you want for this expansion to get the best possible experience now guys when you're in these world soul memories you only have a five minute timer to do as much as you can to get your world soul memory score as high as possible with the higher score you'll get more currency at the end of the run now the key thing to get your world soul memory up is you want to kill as many mobs as you can possibly see you want to Find them all, just kill them. There's also different, there's higher difficulty mobs, such as rares. You want to kill those rares too. So pretty much anything that you're seeing here, guys, you want to kill. The more you kill, the more your World Soul Memory score goes up, and the more currency you'll get at the end. The more Valor, stone, valor Stones you'll get, the more Coffer Key Shards that you'll get, which allows you to do other things throughout the War Within expansion. So you just got to be efficient with your time. Because time is the most important resource, guys. You want to be efficient, get as much mob kills, get all the rares, get all the currency. And with that currency, such as this Valor Stone here, you go into Dornigal, you go to the NPC that's right next to the bank, and then you can upgrade your gear, like I did here with my sword. Use the Valor Stones, just part of the currency to upgrade it. I got my sword to 606, which is normal raid equivalent gear for a more casual player with myself. I'm set for this first season of the expansion. Now you may be wondering too, what happens if I die my World Soul Memory? Well, in the first two difficulties, you can still respawn, but the last difficulty, if you die, you're dead. So you can still continue it, but it's still five minutes, so you probably are going to... I haven't died yet in it, but if, I'm sure if you die, you have to run back to your body and the timer is still going. And those Radiant Echoes take a minute to farm, so you got to make sure you don't want to die. Now, also with World Soul Memories, you're probably asking, how many times can I run this? Well, you can keep running it as long as you want, as long as the Radiant Memory is available. When they spawn all throughout Kazalgar, it'll show up in your World Quest and say, oh, this is the remaining time. But you just need your Radiant Echoes to do it. So there's always a time limit, but you can do it. You can run it as much as you want. And also, one other key point, too, is you can also loot everything that you see in the World Soul Memory. So these little items you can loot, you can do that. You can also mine Azerite. Both these things increase your World Soul Memory score, which allows you to get more Coffer Key Shards, which allows you to get more Valor Stones, which allows you to do more stuff in this expansion. So just see everything. Loot everything, kill everything, maximize your score, and then you guys are good to go. And as you can see at the end of this five-minute run, we get our Valor Stones, we get our Coffer Key Shards, and that's it. And I hope you guys like the video. Until next time, it's me, Boo. See you, everyone.